time to check something time to check something off the bucket list that would be the tokyo disneyland hotel which i've never stayed at and uh it's pretty exciting it's right outside the park and it's beautiful and it's like a newer version of the grand floridian welcome to the tokyo disneyland hotel where we're staying we're staying in a standard superior park view room on the fifth and sixth floors is the category if you're shopping for a room here um if you've never been here before, think Grand Floridian with maybe a little more character. I mean, as of today, that's probably less true. There's plenty of character in the Grand Floridian now. Um, but Lobby and a lot of a lot of it very similar to the Grand Floridian, but maybe uh, because it's newer and younger, maybe a little nicer. So um, let's take a look around again. Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. Uh, so first of all, we start with the wallpaper, which has hidden Mickeys in it, which are very cute. Floral and topiaries and flowers and all sorts of things going on. Uh, the stop and drop here. We've got this beautiful mirror right here with the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel logo. Got these great sconces here. Uh, plenty of room to stop and drop some things. You also use it as a vanity, right? Because we got this stool right here. So you can use this as a vanity. Um, there's a really cool pattern with a Mickey there. You can see that. Some tissues there as well. Um, this is for, I mean, for a Tokyo hotel, very spacious, obviously American style in, in many ways. Uh, I do like this little curved section of the ceiling here. That's nice. Leading to the bathroom, uh, which has, again, a Mickey in the glass. Look at this. I mean, these rooms are expensive, right? They range anywhere from an American dollars, six, seven, eight hundred dollar range. So we're doing them right now because the conversion rate, I mean, by the time everyone is let in again, conversion rate might still be good. You end the dollars, you might want to take advantage of it. That's why we're doing this now. It's probably the cheapest it's ever going to be for us. Um, so there's a sliding door to the bathroom. Um, we're not going to worry about this one locking because we have lots of stuff. Hello, everyone. Uh, we have lots of doors and such going on in here. So uh, we have the room with the shower and the bath over here, which is definitely of a Japanese style uh, in that this is the shower. This thing I just stepped into is the shower. And then the tub is right down here. Um, there's a frosted glass that goes through to the uh, bedroom. It's nice tile work on the wall here. Very pleasant room. And of course, one of Tom's favorite things, they have their own towels. Tokyo Disneyland Hotel towels. Really cool. I just kicked the door. <laughs> so yeah, so this is, yeah, this is the shower. This closes and locks, of course. shower head there it can, you can fix it to the wall there there is also a, a shower head here you can switch to as well if you prefer that and not uh, the handheld or affixing the handheld uh, to the wall there's a washcloth there uh, and then there are bottles with shampoo conditioner and body wash as you might expect as well okay then we come out here to the vanity in the middle here uh, so there, is, there are a couple things worth noting here. Number one, there is this little rolling, I don't know, rolling shelves. I assume this is, again, there's two vanities, right? So I guess if you wanted to use this and you put all your makeup and such in this thing, you could roll it over to there, right? I assume that's the best use of that. I could be wrong. Obviously, you could just store stuff down there if you wanted. The other fun thing... Uh, is for the kids. We got a little stool with the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel uh, logo on it. Very cute. Uh, also for the kids, there's a little toothbrush kit just for the kids. Um, and I love the art is unique for the kids toothbrush. So it's Huey, Dewey, and Louie uh, at a I think this is out back, the Sorcerer Mickey Fountain. Um, they're out playing by that, and one of them has a Sorcerer Mickey hat on and is portraying Mickey. Very cute. So this is my favorite thing about these hotels is every one of them has their own little amenities. 
And I know someone, several people in the past yelled at me, that's not what an amenity is. It literally is, because this is an amenity kit, folks. Uh, so these are bath amenities. Yes, that's what they're called. Um, and this is some great art of the hotel, the exterior with all the characters in this little amenity kit, which I think will have, I can pop this open. And you get to, you take all this. This is for you to take. Um, there's a cute little cup. Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. These are great. I still have all the ones from when I stayed at Hotel Maricosta and such. There's the adult toothbrush with Donald and Daisy. Very cute face and hand soap over here. Um, sadly, I think at some point they had coasters for each hotel. Now there's a Tokyo Disney Resort Disney Hotels one. Not, not my favorite thing, but nonetheless, they have them. Very pretty mirror, some sconces there. And then uh, I guess we'll go, well, we can look what's in here. There's a, I think this is Tokyo Disneyland specific. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Oh, it is. Yeah, Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. Uh, hairbrush. Uh, the hair dryers in here. Garbage pail. I think that covers everything out here. Yeah. There's an outlet here if you need it. Let's take a look in here. There's no toilet art, sadly. I know, very sad. But, oh, that's a... That is fancy. I've never seen one like this. Um, usually there's like a panel with buttons. Oh, it's over here. I got all confused by this, this light set up on the side. Now there is a, there's still a panel for the bidet and uh, all of that. It's on the wall. Probably easier, easier to access for everyone. Yeah. Obviously, toilet paper's there. It's a nice, I mean, it's a wallpapered room, so there's something to look at that's, I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't discrediting them. Um, there does seem to be sort of a light, there might be a light Beauty and the Beast theme going on. I don't know if the rose is specifically, it doesn't really look like the Beauty and the Beast rose, but there's a rose on these doors. And the reason I say that is because I may have already looked around the room. Oh, there's some other stuff going on. There's Cleo. I'm pretty sure that's Cleo from uh, Pinocchio. So there's uh, there's some Disney touches. That might that might that might be the Beauty and the Beast rose then. Uh, and then the carpet. These were remodeled a year or two ago, and uh, we believe the carpet's one of the new things with the birds and the flowers. Um, so there's some new stuff. So even if you stayed here a little while ago, it might be different. Uh, there's a nice full length mirror over here. And we're going to pop the closet open, which should trigger the lights. It sure did. Uh, extra bedding. Uh, another one of my favorite things. You get to take home slippers. And so there are Tokyo Disneyland Hotel specific slippers with Mickey in his little early 1900s hat. I'll try to get in there without too much shadow, but there you go. You get the idea. There's also the kids slippers, which just have Mickey's, Mickey's on them. Uh, another thing you get, you get your little bag you can take home. Your, again, they used to have them for each hotel. There's now a Disney Hotels one. Last time I stayed was during the 35th, so they were 35th bags at all the hotels at the thing. Um, room to hang stuff, obviously, being a closet. Uh, then we have the coffee station over here. So there is this Beauty and the Beast art over here, which you think of the costume designs for the musical, I think. Uh, Cogsworth, as well as Lumiere. It's fitting that they're above uh, the coffee station here. Uh, so we have our coffee pot, the uh, Zorushi. That's the brand of my rice maker at home. It's a good brand. Uh, we have our, sadly, the coffee cups and, and saucers are not specific to the hotel. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. Uh, we've got some glasses there. And a mini fridge, of course, that has, I'm going to try to fix the camera. There we go. Mini fridge, which has two waters in there. I'm surprised. Usually they leave them out because not everyone, in, in Europe and Asia, it's more common that the water's left out and it's warm. Um, it's Americans, we like the water cold. It seems to be a thing that's almost exclusive to us in many cases. But anyway... 
Uh, so here's the bedroom, which has this great vaulted ceiling. Really gives it a nice, big, open feeling. I mean, it is a big room, especially, again, for, for Japan. It's a really big hotel room. Uh, there's a luggage rack here. Again, that wallpaper uh, continuing throughout. Uh, let's talk about this TV unit here. So we obviously have a bunch of drawers down here. Good-sized drawers at that. We have some pajamas. I think these have, like, Mickey on them, if I remember correctly. Maybe not. I'll open those later, and I'll, t I'll report back to you guys. If, if I add it onto the video, it had it. If I don't, then it wasn't there. So lots of drawers here. Oh, a safe. Wow, that is a big safe. You can put all sorts of stuff in there if you need that. Yeah, a lot of good, good amount of drawer space. Uh, nice size TV, actually smaller than the Sheridan, but how much TV you're going to watch when you got this view outside. Um, what a detail. Hold on a second. Come out of the wide angle to show you some of the detail. Um, so it's Madam Wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. So another Beauty and the Beast element. Fun fact, they do have themed rooms here. They're usually, they're all, I think, not the ones that face the park. But there are Beauty and the Beast ones. There's Alice in Wonderland, which I think we have the Alice in Wonderland room tour from Annie uh, up. But, you know, um, it's very cool that it's Madam Wardrobe. Or just a big, big <laughs> Madam Wardrobe head up here. Um, and while I have you in the non-wide angle, uh, we could take a better look at this art. All this was done in the uh, recent refurbishment. We got the silhouettes. We got many on this side. Uh, and then this is this is the cutest art up here above the headboard. The, the art style looks super familiar. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to tell me who did this because it looks so familiar. I know it's going to be one of those names we write about all the time, but I'm not placing it right now. Uh, so Chip and Dale are hanging out down here. Look how cute they are. They're such a cute art style. Uh, butterflies up here. Mickey and Minnie are having a picnic out in the park in the center there. And we'll go to the other side. And we have the silhouette of Mickey on this side. And then Pluto playing with a butterfly. There's also these really cute bluebirds over here. Uh, in the middle of the headboard, we do have Cinderella Castle. And if you're like, Cinderella Castle's at Disney World. Well, Cinderella Castle's also at Tokyo Disneyland. They both have the same castle. Slightly different coloring and detailing on the exterior, but otherwise the same. And we go back into the wide angle to give you a better view of the bedroom. I'll back into the corner here for a second. So again, you see a lot of space, lots of space. Um, the bed is low. The bed is quite low, which again, not out of the ordinary for here. Uh, so really big nightstand on the end here uh, with two standard and one USB outlet there. There, there are drawers here. They're not going to be very big. They're not very deep. They're pretty wide. That's going to be true of this side as well. We're going to have, again, two standard and two USB as well as the room phone. We have an alarm clock that looks like it's from the 80s, but it's not because it's Japan. Things are dysfunctional. This hotel didn't open that long ago. This really cute pad folio with the Tokyo Disney Ho Disneyland Hotel logo pop this open look at this look at this notepad how cute i'm gonna be taking that notepad home of course also the pen i think the pen pen just fell right on out I'm doing great today is this a disney hotel pen no not branded i'm very sad very sad but that pad folio is cool so they have the little note card if who's preparing your room and making many in their outfits for the hotel and the other great thing is postcards another lost thing there's so many things we don't do in the american hotels anymore postcards notepads all of those things have been lost to time and it makes me really sad um but but disneyland paris and here specifically they still do this stuff so we have postcards you get to take these or you can mail a postcard to someone if you'd like um, Tokyo Disneyland Hotel, we have 
another one here. That one's pretty. Tinkerbell making a constellation of the hotel. And then there's even... Oh, I don't know what this... This isn't a postcard. I don't know what this is. There's some Duffy and Friends book that explains, like, all of them. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. It's definitely not a postcard. Maybe it is. Maybe if I open it all the way. Hold on. One moment, everyone. No, it's just an advertisement that tells you about all the things you can do with Duffy and Friends at Tokyo Disney Resort. Cool. It's very... It's on brand. Very on brand for here. I'm going to fix these. Fix those. There we go. Close that. All right. Uh, we have a nice little table and chairs over here. You can enjoy a meal here if you'd like. Uh, there's a Mickey on there. And, of course, that offers a beautiful view. We have a superior view room. Again, we're on the sixth floor. And I'm going to switch to the regular camera again. Apologies for the reflection of the glass. Um, we have a really fantastic view. Like, truly fantastic. Um, we can see the castle. Uh, out behind that is Mount Prometheus at Disney Sea. You see there the Tower of Terror. Um, almost could see more of the Disney Sea icons. Um, but then if we turn this way, you see Space Mountain and, of course, uh, Monsters, Inc. Ride and Go Seek out that way. And then we do have this protruding wall, so we can't see much out there. We see enough. I think that's Big Thunder, I believe. Yeah. Um, and we'll cut to a daytime shot right about now as well. And, of course, there's the Resort Line Station. Um, that's where you get the monorail here. Um, uh, monorail tickets are included with your hotel stay, too. Those are a thing you have to pay for. They're a couple bucks each, so it's not a big thing, but it's nice uh, that they're included. So keep that in mind. But let's cut to a daytime view. All right, it is early morning. A room at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. And then you have a nice clearer view of Prometheus and Cinderella Castle. And Tower of Terror. You can actually make out some other things now. I think that's... I think that's the top of... Miracosta. Yeah, the dome roof. And then also that, like, bell tower or Miracosta. And Big Thunder, I see. I think the Indiana Jones Temple. Yeah, that's what that is. And then you can see that those red rooftops, the flat red rooftops are two in town. And then also the blue, that blue dome there is Soren. This, uh, those are the Tomorrowland spires, which we used to have in Florida, which are still here for now, at least. Um, see the top of the Fantasyland Forest Theater. Obviously, we could see bits of Fantasy Springs, that hotel that's not open yet. Um, a little bit of the North Mountain from Frozen's there, too. Little little peaks coming out. It's a pretty great view, though, to start the day. People waiting. Oh, security has just opened. People are getting ready to go into the park. One more thing I want to talk about. So this window does not swing open all the way. It pops open. That is the park entrance music loop, which if you're park people like us... That's probably something really cool. We're going to do this. I'm going to pop you guys out this way. There you go. Look at that. That's as far out as I can let you go, though, without losing the phone. We're not going to drop the phone out of the window. Let's not do that. Um, I think the only thing we haven't talked about, there's a lamp in the corner here. Garbage can. Uh, climate control is over here. Obviously, it's going to be in Celsius. Um, actually, you can switch it. How about that? Look at that. You can switch it if you want. Yeah, I do have the room that cold. Judge me. And there's the, there's the frosted window that goes through to the uh, shower. Um, the bedding, I know someone's going to ask. So I just want to double check. I don't believe there are Mickeys in the bedding. I would have thought maybe there were, but I don't believe so. No. No, it's very nice. But how great is that? The park music spilling into your room is, is pretty special. So my, I'm going to say this much. I've stayed at Miracosta, and, and Disney Sea is my favorite theme park on Earth. This feels quintessentially Disney. 
because it's a little bit like the Grand Floridian, it feels a bit homey for me, being a Disney World person. Um, I like this a little better. This feels more Disney. This feels more first trip. There goes the monorail. Here it goes. I mean, how cool is that? You, the monorail is so close to the room. The castle, Mount Prometheus, all visible from here. Yes, it's pricey, but if you're coming here for the first time, Tokyo Disney Resort is such a special place. These parks are magnificent. These hotels are also magnificent. And if you want to do that first trip right, this is the one I'm recommending. Yes, it's a lot of money, but this is, this is something special. So keep that in mind. Highly recommend it. Of course, they do have stuff in lower price, price ranges as well. Um, but if you wanted a real Disney hotel at Tokyo Disney Resort, Tokyo Disneyland Hotel is, is where it's at.